This afternoon was supposed to be a momentous occasion. The United uh, Opposition Parties in Zambia were supposed to have an event where we're calling to the defense of democracy. But uh, it appears, despite uh, you know announcements that you were going to be part of this movement, you appear to be uh, back home. What exactly happened? Well, I think it's common knowledge now that uh, this uh, huge rally has not taken place because of uh, thuggery uh, uh, on the part of UPND cadres. And uh, I think he, I was advised along the way that you don't go there because uh, you may not be guaranteed safety or protection of the police because the police are just watching the gangsters uh, wield their machetes, their knives, their surgical blades and everything all over and they can harm you. So I decided to pull back and came back home. Uh, but suffice to say, I'm very concerned and I think I want to address President Hitchleman directly. Say, so Mr. President, take charge. You are the commander in chief. And the police listen to you. Tell them to do the right thing to stop this hooliganism, this thuggery we are seeing. And don't tell me that it was happening in PF, therefore it should continue, because that's how we lost it. And we are lucky we lost it, but we kept it and we gave it to you. Now you want to kill it for us. Please, Mr. President, stop this nonsense. Now, something similar happened on uh, uh, a few days ago when you were summoned by the Drug Enforcement Commission. Well, allow me to rephrase that when your wife, Madam Esther Lungu, your uh, two daughters and uh, a close relative were called to answer questions at the Drug Enforcement Commission. What was your observation of what happened there? And are there any concerns about there too? Yeah, uh, what is happening is that uh, the culture of uh, hooliganism is being cemented. If you look back to two days ago when we were DEC, the police first started by sweeping clean the adjoining areas in Kabwata, Ridgeway Post Office, and the, uh, near Government Road, and all those other areas. They cleared the areas of PF supporters and sympathizers who came to support us. And I heard one of the women was saying, what are these people doing here? It's not Mrs. Mutinta. It's them who has been called. It's Esther Lungu. What are they doing here? <laughs> so uh, we were expecting them to allow PF supporters the, who came in solidarity with us to just turn around and behave themselves and go. But instead they allowed UPND thugs who came armed, like you saw today. I forget about the songs, uh, the insults and all. But uh, they allowed them and they protected them. So I'm saying that this culture of thuggery, this culture of cannibalism, as it's commonly known, should be addressed by the president. What we saw two days ago is confirmation that the police have got no clout, or they're being told what to do by the party leadership. Hmm? I don't want to comment about JJ because it's a matter which is subject to investigation, but I can safely tell you that the police have been told to keep away from maintaining law and order while we sort out these PF guys. Who does that? And the president there watching, he took oath constitution to protect the lives and people of Zambian property, including me. So you cannot sit there and observe things and say, no, it's okay, because he said Galungu is being uh, harassed and mauled and so on. It's not right. It's not right. So be man enough, Mr. President, take charge of the country. You are losing it. Thank you very much uh, for those salient uh, uh, advice. Thank you.